some wisdom about depression or being in depression. So, the thought, I am happy, is the most powerful thought that connects you to the willpower to stay happy. So, what is the thought that I am happy? So, we need to think that I am happy again and again. If we can't do it, we can take 30 days happiness challenge and practice that I did it before. It's in my channel. So, you can go into there and you can practice the 30 days practice every single day. And if you, if you can do it consistently, 30 days, if you can be happy, then you just keep on practicing and you will be happy. I promise you, you will be happy. Second thing, depression is the expression of the mind that is seeking the truth of the soul. So what is happening? What does it mean? So the soul is not happy the way it is acting in this world. So what does it mean? So whatever work you are doing, you are not happy with that. So, and you don't know what is happening and you might go into depression. So why? Because your soul, soul has a different purpose in this life and soul is not happy with what you chose to do or whatever you are doing. So the soul just goes into depression mode for you to find out what you need to do and to find out who you are and what is the purpose of this life and most importantly why you went into that depression mode it's not only depression every health problem comes with a message for us if we are really careful enough if we are really mindful enough we can get the message and the thing is that depression is a symptom it's not a disease so if it is not a disease we can't cure it so we need to go to the root cause of the symptom what is the symptom why we are getting into depression mode if you think properly even though you are in depression you just sit with yourself because you are sitting anyway so you just ask yourself why I'm not happy. Whatever I'm doing, I know I'm not happy. So, what is happening? Maybe it is related to your past, especially the childhood. In the childhood, you had to learn that you shouldn't be happy for whatever reason. Maybe that's what your caregivers taught us, taught you. So, <clears throat> that is another big problem. That is the hidden problem. I mean, hidden reason behind this depression. And I can see some of the people in my life that it is true. And I know it is true for myself as well. So, that's why we go into that thought process going into negativity that I shouldn't be happy even I, uh, I grew up like that okay I shouldn't be happy so yeah anyway and the third thing third or fourth I don't know anyway the moment you realize that joy is tapped from within one's own spirit and not from outside the depression ends so what is happening here all the happiness all the joy is inside us it's not outside it's not outside anywhere we can't seek outside anywhere we have to go in to find that happiness that joy that peace those are in us we can't find outside so that's why we go into depression to sit with ourselves, to be with ourselves and to detach with the outer world. So 
one good thing about depression I found that it really teaches us detachment. So we don't get any interest in life, even with our own life, anything, anything outside, we, get, we don't get interested and we totally get detached. So whether you, you are having depression or you had depression, you can relate with this, that you have more wisdom than before. You can detach quickly than before and you can detach quickly than anybody else around you. So this is the good thing or maybe this is a blessing of depression. So another thing that I believe that every bad thing, behind every bad thing, there is a good thing. So behind this depression, when we go through depression, it is really tough. It is really, really painful. And I don't want anybody to go there, but if you are there, you can come back. There is a hope, there is a hope of getting better. And that's why I'm making these videos to just bring the awareness. So whatever I learned or whatever I observed, whatever I can understand. And obviously I'm going to talk about what I, I learned from the depression every time I went into depression, another video, because this video has different message. So yes, I got lots of wisdom from depression. So it's not a bad thing. Take it positively, learn from it. You will learn so much that no books can teach you, nothing else can teach you if you just try to learn from your inside, your situation, whether it's anxiety, depression, or any other problems, especially depression, because in depression, you can't do anything. You get detached from the whole world and you are just sitting with yourself. I know I used to sit with myself all day on the couch. So when I used to feel a little bit better, then I, I used to start listening, lots of stuff. And listening, 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 good stuff, it really helps to change our subconscious mind because our subconscious mind rules us. Because what is hap whatever is happening, it's because of our subconscious mind. It's not consciously, but we we can change consciously we have that power in us that we can change anything and everything consciously and work on it to change our subconscious mind to make it happen so both are important that conscious mind is important subconscious mind is important <clears throat> so these are the wisdom i look at it i i wrote it in the points and i added something else as well so <clears throat> so i thought i should share these with everyone so that it's not bad it's just a phase of life that we have to experience and this is just an experience this is just a learning ex experience or you can see okay this is a test so in the life test we have to learn from the test and if we are keeping that learning mind we can learn from anything and everything and depression is a big big teacher yes depression and anxiety is a big big teacher for me and it can be for you as well just be mindful and try to learn from it just look back that whatever you learned or whatever you experienced or whatever you observed you will be you will be surprised to see whatever you learned Thank you, best wishes. I wish you to be happy and healthy as early as possible. Bye.